Hey guys, it's Shelby Michelle of Farmhouse Living and it's fall Woo! home tour season. Last video we shared our decorating process and unfolded that we aren't throw it together kind of gals. Despite all of the setup that we do have, I would say it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy living. Yeah, it's Basically, we take a lot of nature and we just toss it. Bring everywhere. it inside. We bring it inside. I like things that are real: pumpkins, yeah, um, fall leaves, acorns from acorn trees. From oak trees, yes. yes. If you watch the last video, you get the acorn tree joke. So you walk in mom's entryway and the first room you see is the dining room. Typically in home tours in mom's house, we start in the living room, but today we are starting in the dining room, which makes sense for fall season. It's gathering season, hosting season, and that is really my hope for our fall content is that it would inspire you to do so no matter your style, your home, I mean, Everybody has a friend that would love to come over and just hang out. I will also preface this. Mitchell, our amazing everything guy, everything guy is a contractor, is out there working on mom's front porch, which is why there's a little bit of a delay in having fall content for you. So that you might hear a little clanging of a hammer, a yeah. little, all the working all on the, the exterior. Yes. So this tablescape, we, Mom threw it together and then I embellished. So start yeah. with your thoughts and how you started. Well, essentially I wanted to use some big greenery in the center like I always do. And then I started with big pumpkins, but I paired them back because it just felt like too much with my uh, plate settings because we use some really fun magnolia leaves from the tree out front and Shelby actually put them said thankful with the cricket. Yeah, so I had tried to, so if you watched our summer brunch video, we did a home tour with Blooming Ivy Lane and we did a brunch get together and a tablescape and I made, I wrote on acrylic cards with the cricket. So I thought if I can write on acrylic cards to make a menu, I'm gonna write on magnolia leaves. But it looks like I just got extremely intoxicated and went with the <laughs> gold marker and tried to write on, I think because the magnolia leaves are so slippery. I, I don't know, I, I don't, I really don't, I guess probably because they're not flat too. Yeah. Even though I taped them down anyways, I'll overlay that what happened and you can giggle because it is funny. But what I decided to do is I printed thankful on vinyl and then I just put them by hand. So I peel, I know a lot of like the cricket people are like, what, don't do that. Cause you're supposed to use the, um, what do you call that? Just, I don't know, but we probably need to go to school to get words because we miss, a, we, we don't well, know a lot like of words. There's like all the, ling the you know. lingo for the cricket yeah. stuff, but it's the, the tape that you use to like. Oh yeah, it's I, like a double-sided tape. Well, it's not double-sided, well, but you use it to a, Attack. I'm going to pop it up on the screen. I'm going to Google it, <laughs> pop it up on the screen. Anyways, you normally use that to apply the vinyl, mm -hmm. but I wanted it to look handwritten. So I kind of placed each vinyl cutout differently on every single magnolia leaf. It did not take very much time. It was very easy. And we like that. We yeah. like that it's organic and that yeah. it curves with the leaf and it looks really pretty. Yeah. And if you're like me, not into the cricket stuff because it feels overwhelming to you. I've done it myself as I've learned from Shelby and these things are very easy yeah. to do. I love the holiday season, fall decor, Christmas decor. I love having the cricket because I feel like those really light embellishments feel whimsical and fun and just yeah. add thoughtfulness. You could put people's names on the tablescape right. and literally have At place, each place setting. setting. Yeah. So I just think it's so cute. It's very cute and I love it. So again, I pulled back the big pumpkins everywhere and I just put out some tiny little pumpkins, pears, um, and then just a happy accident. 
my foliage dropped all my acorns. acorns and so it actually added to the table and then we just put some a little bit of greenery yeah I, some... I walked in and all she had was the oak stems and then a bunch of acorns on the table and I said did you just throw acorns on the table that's kind of cute She's like, no, <laughs> they just dropped. dropped. They just dropped. So, but anyway, that's all we did, essentially. Yeah. Um, again, we used our little wicker baskets that we use every day as a family. We really literally use these. So people ask a lot about these when we do use them, actually, from the summer brunch video and just in general when we use these. They come with like a paper lining and mm -hmm. you can eat on them like paper plates, which we actually do. Right. Like the babies even eat on them and they've held up great. They are a little pricey. They are pricey, but I will tell you they are worth it because you think about how much money, if you're a paper plate gal, if you're not a paper plate gal, this might not be cost effective. But for me, buying paper plates can get pricey. So using the wax paper as basically a paper plate and you wad it up in a little ball and throw it away so well and i think they they double as chargers look very nice yeah so, so there's a lot of fun features to these overpriced baskets <laughs> yeah anyways we're just being honest so we did fill the glasses with wine because we thought it was cute. We had added some color. We know they're champagne glasses. Mom cannot find her wine glasses. No, I know what happened to my wine glasses. I, I like to lend people. We have a lot of hostess things, and so I like to lend people my hostess things so it really always is getting used. Um, and one of my friends just hasn't brought them back yet. So yeah, there we okay. go. It's okay. That's okay. Okay, so now I think it's time, unless you have anything else to add. No, oh, I think this is a fun, easy, whimsical, beautiful tablescape. Yeah. Probably one of my favorites. Really? Well, I say that all the time. But... I know. Everything's mom's favorite. Okay, so <laughs> you can never trust her. If you, like, make her a cake, she's like, this is the best cake you've best ever cake made. Best cake I've ever made. She's yeah. like your hype girl to the max. Yeah. But it, then the next cake you make her also the best the cake, best cake I ever ate. Yeah. It's, it's nice to have passion. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> kitchen. You decorate with food. That's all. I decorate with food because it's useful. You can eat it. <laughs> so I feel like if you decorate with nature, it's free. If you decorate with food, it's almost free because you eat it. It's not free, but it's it's pretty. And then it, it's double use. Yes. Multi, multi yes. use. Yes. So in the kitchen you did normally this wreath goes in the dining room right and you did it over the sink which i think is super cute yeah i'm gonna be sad if this wreath ever falls apart because it truly is if if this wreath comes out it's fall it's that's fall. it it's fall yes and i love it so much it is crispy and it is falling apart a little bit so you also have pair the faux pair same right. situation right from the dining room and then well there's real pears in the dining room let me just say that but i ran out of pears and so we brought in the folk you can't tell you can't tell she stole she stole them from my house yeah so that's kind of another pro tip for seasonal decor you can yeah. just do a little swap i'll steal something from her house yeah i trade you pears for plants <laughs> whatever we just do a little swapping which is nice because that's budget friendly another thing that you do that i love every seasonal Time period, can you guess? No. You just open your cookbooks to the page of whatever <laughs> season. season it is. She'll have like a Christmas thing open during Christmas, a fall thing open during fall. And that is just, so all of those things are very simple. There's no like crazy. Mm -mm. We don't spend a lot of money. Pumpkins are pretty expensive this year though. What I will in say. the world? And, and right now I'm growing the Cinderella pumpkins and then those like kind of muted uh, orange yeah. ones. And they have not grown, but they are creating a really amazing um, like vine going up my trellis. So yeah. even though they haven't grown, they are being they're very beautiful. They're but very I beautiful. would love next year to very intentionally grow pumpkins early enough to actually use them because yeah. I have already spent over a hundred dollars on pumpkins and I have not You don't have that many pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. So I I did find a sale on pumpkins. I'm not gonna say where because I don't want to promote the store, but I found a sale when I needed a few more. 
So if you scout around, usually you can find... She's not gatekeeping. She doesn't like Walmart. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't Walmart. But I won't say where it was. But anyway... Where was it? I'm not going to say. Where? Because I don't shop here. Where? I don't shop here. Where? I'm not going to say. Where? Okay, let's talk about the wine. <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Are you getting the fucking... <laughs> Target. Oh, Target. Okay. I don't shop at Target. We don't, okay. Yeah. We're kind of trying to shop. Small. We're trying to stop big box stores, you know, because we like our friends who have, you know, like our nursery. Yeah. We would buy pumpkins in our nursery. We like our friends who yeah. are um, local. Local. Yeah. And small. And small. And family and shop, shop small. So speaking of, I got this wine. This wine we're going to use in our dinner party that we're going to have. And it was actually, it's from Israel, and they put music in the barrels as they were fermenting. So, yeah. like, frequency. And so when we drink it, we're going to be really happy. Yeah. It's beautiful. There you go. Yeah. And then so, we also have sourdough bread. Sourdough, sourdough bread, bread is wine, cool, yeah. That's all the things. Fall. All, that says fall. I saw somebody use... Um, gallon jugs of cider the glass jugs and they took the labels off and just set it out on their counter now they're going to use it of course but it just looks pretty while it's not being used yep. yeah yeah there's really unconventional ways to decorate for fall without spending a ton of money and also making it practical and useful right breakfast nook you did not do much in the no. breakfast nook but that's okay not every single space needs to be over the top which will touch on the end but I did want to talk about we you scored those plates at our estate sell with us video. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so there is new and fresh. Yeah, it's just new and fresh. And I did put a couple pumpkins out and I just moved flowers from my family room into the dining room instead of buying fresh flowers, which I use a lot of fresh flowers. Yeah. Um, I have some in here that didn't work on the mantle. Uh, but I love love hydrangeas so we use faux hydrangeas in there i was actually going to make magnolia wreaths for the window i was going to do two magnolia wreaths that She's did not, not happen that did not happen but maybe yeah. next year it will yeah yeah every year we're just gonna level up okay let's go in the living room <laughs> or down <laughs> depending on what's going on this year our surprise <laughs> projects we have leveled down <laughs> so you never know what to expect <laughs> Okay, this room is very cute. It's cozy. So cozy. Fall yeah. equals cozy. So we shared our process on decorating this room, specifically mm -hmm. the garland situation over the mantle. Mom put some pumpkins there. She wasn't going to, but I was like, I think you need pumpkins. That would be fun. Which did you, have, you've done that before. I have done that before. I've put it on the middle of the table even and just overfloated it with pumpkins yeah. like that inspiration photo we saw mm -hmm. um but i like this up here this situation because it's simple but it makes a statement yep and yep. It, it i'm not gonna say it's cost effective because it is not but no, my, it actually this is where i got the discount pumpkins so the small ones were 2.99 the big ones 6.99 yeah. So if you shop around and they will become chicken food later. They'll become chicken food. Right. So they're so. not like just going to go in the trash. They right. chickens love pumpkins. Yes. If you have your leftover pumpkins, find your friend find a friend with chickens and bring yeah. them. They will like mm -hmm. ha it's like a birthday party for them. They're like, oh, yeah, gosh. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's so innocent. Yeah, so happy. <laughs> they also like frozen watermelon. They love frozen watermelon. Dad, yeah. dad grows watermelon and they enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. So then your coffee table, you just throw a big pumpkin. Normally, you do a ton of small stuff. You've done pears there before, yeah. stems. I really am digging one big pumpkin. I really like it. And I think what would be super fun is to cut this one and make it hollow and put, like Michelle Howe did, make it a little wine or champagne. She didn't do that with a oh. real pumpkin. It's a foam pumpkin. And she like oh. actually filled the foam pumpkin. <laughs> you can't do that with a real pumpkin. Um, okay. we, are sh we are touring Michelle's home for vintage home designs for now fall. And she's going to share her like fun, crafty decor. We're not really that. We're like we pull in a bunch of stuff. Yes. Now, if you want to find somebody that is really good, I mean, 
over the top good at seasonal decor. And how does she even find the time? She's one human being. Like she's just amazing. She's amazing. Okay, so Mantle, I want to talk about kind of the changes. So we've never done anything like this before. And normally when you do fall, you don't do a garland. You do like the pompous grass situation. Mm -hmm. You've always done that. But I think we've out, we've, we're over the pompous grass. Yeah. Well, I mean, I do have it in my home. I have it. I have a little boho room and the pompous grass lives there all the time. But... Yeah. This is just a little bit more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. I used real greenery, uh, but I did the wilt stop. So if you guys don't know that trick, there is a product called wilt stop. If you use fresh evergreen or fresh florals, fresh it, greenery. It works differently on different right. stems. So we've never used them on these stems. So we will see how they hold up and report back to you because that's a comment we regularly get. It's not going to hold up. It's not going to work. Well, well, it you, usually works on eucalyptus. Yeah. So I feel like this is kind of a eucalyptus-y yeah. type of a vine. Yeah. And it's going to work. We'll see. Okay. Any other fall touches? I mean, I feel like your living room's made for fall. Even just the stacked wood and the yeah. metal... Yeah. So Rockwell Artisan Home was the name I couldn't think of. And this gal goes to market and buys wonderful city. stems. And I just couldn't think of her name. And she has wonderful stems. And so I went, I like realistic. If you're going to buy faux, I think spend a little bit more money and get realistic and look, it's never going to die. So you'll have it forever. And um, so you were like ripping it apart <laughs> to put in the garland. So I'm like, yeah, you're gonna have this forever. <laughs> yeah, but I love everything I did. I found a vase at another local little uh, store boutique on um in down the my Marco? southern yeah southern porch the southern, the southern, porch. southern porch and so I found that vase and then I used the real wonderful stems from Rockwell Artisan Home. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about shopping small. Mm -hmm. We enjoy our little boutiques, our local boutiques, and they love when we I come in and shop. Both of them sell online too. So I'll link yes. them down below. Yes. Okay. So not every room is fall ready. Your bedroom, normally you'll put like a couple touches. You didn't do that this year. No. But it looks beautiful and you have recently just updated it. So I think it's it's okay. It's so beautiful. And it's, I mean, it's just, it's so wonderful to have a space for Ron and I, for my husband and I, that is like an oasis. It's, I think this is my favorite room we've ever had. And so, you know, dad's still a little bit, you know, crusty about the money, but I don't know what word to use. He's like, I said, I'm taking a bath last night. He said, oh, and your $50,000 bathtub? It was not a $50,000 bathtub. Okay, just to say that. But dad doesn't really add up the money. Well, he rounds up way up. So I'm going to take this just one clip and just text it to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he loves this space. I love this space. And it's so beautiful without anything at all. Yeah. And you did not do the guest room either. No. But again, that has baskets and yeah. pompous grass and but all things normally, fall all the time. You normally do do the guest room and you definitely do the guest room for Christmas. So even yeah. though you didn't do fall touches in there, will you do Christmas? Oh, yeah. Christmas in the guest room for sure, because people love a tree. And again, for us, it's really not about all the kitschy red and green. It's about bringing nature in. If I can have an excuse, spring, summer, winter, fall, to bring in the outdoors, I'm going to do that. Yep. So it's simple. It's not over the top. But we used to call that room the Christmas room. Yeah, because it has a lot of green. <laughs> And we just said we're not kitschy green and red people. But yeah. it, it lends itself to a beautiful Christmas. Yes. Yes. 
Okay, so that wraps up mom's fall home tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see our process of making this garland, don't watch. You missed it's bad, y'all. It's bad. I don't think it's bad. It turned out amazing. Don't tell people to don't watch. Okay, watch. Watch. Just mom's don't judge. How about that? Watch, don't judge. Mom is goofy, okay? And and I had a lot of coffee yesterday, so I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> shoving no, you're everything. You're always like that, though. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So watch that video. We will have photos on the blog of the whole house. I will have links to the small shops that we've shopped, and also you know bigger pieces. So even if you want like the rugs, the uh, mm -hmm. couches, whatever, well, all the links that we do have, we will yeah. have them up. And I hope that this inspires you to, you know, embrace the season and get excited to invite people into your home. Close us out, Mom. Yeah, like, subscribe, share with your friends. And we're thankful for you. We're thankful it's fall. And have a great day. Uh -huh.